Good evening and welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight I'm with uh, Albert Dos. Albert is going to use his Star Trekker for the first time and I'm going to push my Star Trekker for the first time because I'm uh, making a uh, deep scape image or maybe only a deep sky image on a 135 millimeters. And perhaps uh, help Albert if he uh, screws up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Waiting for uh, Pleiades to rise. I'm uh, shooting a quick Milky Way stack. Albert is also shooting the Milky Way. Let's see how he's doing with the tracker. So, how's it going uh, with your first time tracking, Albert? <laughs> After some problem solving, <laughs> it's going okay. Now we're gonna take a first shot and let's see. You're getting there. <laughs> getting there. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I think Albert's result is brilliant. At the time, I didn't think my own Milky Way results were worth the effort to look for a good composition. Looking at the shots back home, I changed my mind. So, welcome from the future. I've always wanted to say that. Well, it's actually a couple of days later now than what you were, you were watching just before. Um, I've come back because my Milky Way shots turn out to be better than expected and I hate to waste some good Milky Way shooting. So as you can see behind me, I found some uh, yeah, dead branches, uh, which you know I love. Uh, the foreground actually is pointing uh, not to the south, but uh, more to the uh, northeast. So it is not accurate, but I just hate to waste a good Milky Way shoot and uh, I'll take some creative freedom uh, this time. <laughs> Let's go back to the past, or the present. Well, you know what I mean. Now I'm going to change to the 135mm Samyang lens, f2. And uh, let's see if we can shoot the Pleiades. Pleiades and Mars are just rising uh, behind you. So, uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. So what is a deepscape image? Well, it's basically an image where you uh, yeah, do some deep sky photography with a longer focal length, in this case 135 millimeters, and you combine it with an earthly foreground. So I found some hills here in the background and uh, perhaps I'll stand on the hill and um, yeah, I hope I make a good silhouette against the Pleiades star cluster. All right, let's look at the results. How is it looking? All right, there are the Pleiades, like this. It is uh, sharp enough. Oh, bumping my trigger, always handy. <laughs> yeah, the histogram is okay. <laughs> I'm only shooting at 20 seconds ISO 800, so imagine the light pollution here. <laughs> Let's create a little cliffhanger here. I'll show you the result at the end of the video. In the meantime, I decided to photograph a deep sky target, which was higher in the sky, above all the light pollution. My camera is now actually shooting another galaxy, as our Milky Way, our own Milky Way is also a galaxy. I'm shooting the Andromeda galaxy, and uh, the Andromeda galaxy is our neighbor galaxy. It is only, in astronomical terms, two and a half million light years away, so we are actually photographing light, which is two and a half million years old. It blows my mind. Here's the result. So we are done. We've uh, been uh, at the dunes around I think two to three hours. Uh, clouds were rolling in just a bit, just a bit of haze in the sky. We'll uh, see what we can uh, get out of the Milky Way in post-processing. I'm not totally sure about the deepscapes. <laughs> I uh, tried. At least we try, right? at, at least we try indeed. So uh, yeah, if the shots turn out to be any good, here are the shots. Let's see you in the next one.